and we are back right here in the morning inferno on WDVL, and um, it's a that's a that's a touching story about I, a I dedicated think so. supporter. Yeah, um, you just hate to hear hear stuff like that though about. Uh, I guess, I guess the, I mean, the losers they, in it that. Uh, yeah, it's tough. hard for people. You know, they get very into these elections, and mm-hmm. and then you know they 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 just it's all over. Can't them. give it up. I guess. Uh, they can't give it up that they were wrong, or at least they lost. Anyways, maybe not wrong, but they lost. So, lost. Like hey, losers. Let's just get it done, Brendan. We got a job to do. We do. Let's do it. Yeah, duties. <laughs> duties. Today in Idaho. Coming straight from Boise, Idaho. W or er, KTVB. Uh, Buffalo News, or uh, sorry, Buffalo, Idaho News said that uh, if you drove by the Boise Airport on Saturday, you may have seen a new jet flying overhead. If you were paying attention to the planes flying overhead, you might have seen an F-15. If you didn't, you still have six months to see the fighter plane in action. The officials are saying the 22 F-15 fighter jet uh, and nearly 250 National Guardsmen from Claus Falls, Oregon will call the Boise area home from now until November. Wow. So they've got fighter jets. That reporter wow. guy was totally off his game today. <laughs> I know, man. Like I every other day. I don't know why we terrible. pay him the, yeah. three, the six figures. Why? Yeah. It's. I don't know, man. That's crazy. We ought to just fire him. Something. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Hey, I meant to get to this um, before, but Judd took a phone call during the break. Yes. Yes. Wait, we didn't have any. We didn't say anything in our doctrine about phone calls, just text messages. So well, you I don't have text to discuss message it. Too, that pretty much sums up the phone yeah. call. Okay. All right. So uh, the text is, I will watch the shot of the morning later all right. today. But yeah, Nick should be the one in trouble for making, uh, for looking at thongs when he has a GF. <laughs> Love you, babe. Have a good day. I told you it was. They were thongs on a Mardi Gras tree. Doesn't Gosh. make sense. It's May. It's and Mardi Gras in May. Secondly, Judd had to take a phone call to make sure he wasn't in trouble. Oh, I didn't have to take it. She just said, you're not in trouble. Gotta go to class. Okay, bye. <laughs> Aw, that's a cute little little phone call there. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right, Brandon. I don't want to get in right. trouble, so let's just move on. <laughs> uh, cheerio. It's time for the Urban Dictionary Word of the Day. Mm-hmm. And today's Urban Dictionary Word of the Day. NGL, meaning not gonna lie. Used to indicate that you are not deviating from the truth. (laughs) NGL, Chuck Norris would destroy Jack Bauer. No, I love Jack Bauer. Today's Urban Dictionary Word of the Day. I think that's up there with BT Dubs. Yeah, have, have the people in our society gotten to the point in their lying that we have to tell when we're saying when we're telling the truth? Yeah, we have to go out and say, I'm "Yo, not guys, not lying here. seriously, <laughs> not lying here." But but this is legit. It's gonna get to the point where even the not gonna lie, you could still be lying. So you're gonna have to say, "NGL, not gonna lie." Yeah. Chuck Norris would destroy Jack Bauer. NGL, Nick, you're a cool dude. Oh. See what I did there? I did the NGL not gonna lie and then lied. See what I did? I did. Yes, and Judd, there's a camera there. <laughs> I'm promoting our, our coffee. <laughs> this is just terrible. Mm, it's so good. For those of you out in Radio Land, you don't know what's going on right now. We are just sort of drinking our coffee in front of the cameras. Yep. Yeah. Promoting. It's, yeah, I guess promotion for, I guess, I don't know why, but it is. So, hey, let's just keep it moving. That's what I think. Is it time to reflect yet? No. One more thing. Darn it. One more thing. This is the one that gets Brendan every day. Every day. He's like, (laughs) we do. We do this early. (laughs) We always do the last one during the, the shot. The last one. We had one so far. I was from Washington. A small airplane uh, dropped out of the sky. Now, that's not the funny part. Uh, <laughs> <really>. <laughs> so don't get me wrong here. All right. Uh, after its engine failed, but it wound up being cushioned uh, and 
uh, it was actually being cushioned by a bunch of portable toilets. And this is uh, coming straight from the Associated Press and NBC's Weird News. Uh, the pilot was able to walk away, apparently, unhurt. So good news. Picture if you were in one of those toilets. Can you imagine <laughs> this? Just this airplane. Boom! Boom! Man. I don't know. That's like, is that, was that a jackass that uh, they rolled one down, down yeah, the hill or something? I'm sure. Where was this in? What state? This was in Washington. So it was Poyallup. So, Poyallup, Washington. Huh. So it was just like, you, you know, can't even, it wasn't the dang on plane going to hit the toilet while I was sitting in. It was something I don't even know what I, what they sound like. You know what's funny? Just continue to stereotype I'm, people via accents. On the page. Everyone does it. <laughs> yeah. Don't discriminate. Of course, stereotypes are based on truth, Brendan. Duh. Don't stereotype me as a white person making up fake accents to, to talk about other white people. <laughs> Hey, my name is Judd, and I am white. Hi, I'm Judd, and I am white. I am such a cracker. How are you, my cracker boy? Hey. <laughs> I'm stereotyping, see? Oh, no, we've lost him. It's so hurtful. We lost him. No, the funny thing is this. <laughs> we lost Brendan. Oh, no. <laughs> hey. Uh, oh, hey, look at software update. iTunes version 8.1.1. What? Uh, they have 1.1.1? <laughs> oh, I've been waiting for 1.1.1. <laughs> Quit. <laughs> no, the funny thing about this story is on, they, there's a Google ad that sort of picks itself, you know? Yeah. And what's being advertised right in the middle of this story is Delta Airlines. <laughs> <laughs> they, well, it, the Google search engine thing that picks out the ads is probably like, oh, planes, Delta. Yeah, <laughs> something like that. Not plane crash. I wonder if it, like, on a legitimate plane crash, if they'd be like, new low fares. <laughs> <laughs> He's so Fly awful. United, Fly you know, United. we don't crash we or don't something crash. like that. Yeah, so oh, bad. Goodness. What a gr you know what? It, now it's time, Judd. Now it is reflection time. Right Yay. now, I'll get you that bed. I don't, I'm never ready for this. I don't even remember what I was going to reflect upon. Well, but then you're just yeah. Hey, my name is Judd. I am white and I forget things and I'm really awkward. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say. Am well, I isn't really that awkward? just gee golly gee. <laughs> G golly G. G golly G. Uh, no, you didn't hear that. <laughs> it sounds like someone's got Why, a text message. you people? Read it. Let's hear it. It's going to take a. I'll, I'll go. I'll read it when it loads. I got to figure right, out how to right. make this load all right, quicker. All right. All right. Hey, guess what? We're what? pushing it. We got to reflect. I think it was a good show. That's all I've got to say. Good show. Normal show. That's my reflection. Did everyone enjoy their Fred Fest weekend? I did. Uh, I, I, ref I enjoyed it plentifully. I liked the, the concert was good. I, said, I know Nick was there because he pointed out that he could see my big head in front. Deaf. <laughs> Deaf bra. I think that's exact. I, I had a couple people say, wow, I could see your giant head in front of everybody. That's what Yeah, everybody was saying. I saw Rockin' John at the concert, and he's like, hey, did you see Chud? He's up there. He's the only one who's above six foot tall. And In the front row. I Chud, what a shocker. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we were talking about the shocker, but hey, if we, if we were, I guess. <laughs> Anytime maybe. you say shocker, you just. I know. That's, go all, ahead that's and bring what pops up. into my mind. Yes. Just, I guess Strange. naturally. Yeah, it is, actually. I shouldn't have said that. <sighs> uh, what a long day. All, all I right. think about is that. Monday. What does the text message say? <sighs> thought you'd forget. <laughs> it says, Good luck to you and the other guys on your radio election for next year. Miss you. Hope um, it's only going to be a week until I see you. All right. Let him off Aww. his leash already. God. Aww. Let go. Give him a break. She's going to see this and hate you. <laughs> yeah, let you the guy be for a second. I think she's just texting me because she knows I'm going to read it on the <laughs> air and she's trying to get me in like... Way to, way to be. <laughs> That's it. Goodbye. I'm out of here. I'm done. We're done. We're Later. signing off for the morning in front of one by the I'm Nick Gunner. Wait for the camera. Wait for the camera. I'm Judd Heisler. That's right. Tune in again at 11, a, 11 a.m. to 12 on www.fredoniaradio.com. We will be rebroadcasting the show. And also, we will be back on Wednesday at 9 a.m. for the second to last show of the year. Oh. But, yeah. Until then, kids, remember, do not, under any circumstances, use portable toilets. as cushions. Especially in areas with low-flying planes. And remember, if you're listening at 11 o'clock, no more omelet! Yes. Thanks. Good disclaimer. Yes. See you Wednesday. Peace.